Hi, my name is Jimmy. Welcome to my channel. We're off for a wee trip to Scotland for the next four days. Hiya. It's Thursday morning, September the 26th. I've just taken two days off work. I'm starting the video at my usual place with St Mary's Lighthouse in the background from Sunny Whitley Bay. It's just started to rain and actually the forecast for the next four days isn't very good either but we're still going to go. We're going to see another unique and unusual landmark. If you haven't seen my last one from the White Horse at Kilburn I'll leave a link at the end of this video so you can go and check that one out. This one's a fairly recent landmark. It's only been there since 2013. In fact there's two. They're 300 tons each and stand 30 meters tall. It's my partner's birthday this weekend, Debbie. And she's wanted to go and see this landmark since it was opened in 2013. We're well, gonna have to wait till day two because we're gonna stop off on the way somewhere. And as usual with us, we don't know where. So stick around to see what we get up to. If this is the first time you've seen my channel, think about subscribing. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon and you'll be notified of any new videos. Well, we've just arrived in North Berwick, um, near Edinburgh. Strangely enough, it's nowhere near Berwick-on-Tweed. I think we came through Berwick-on-Tweed on the way here, and I think it's about 50 miles from Berwick-on-Tweed. It's a tiny little place near Edinburgh, and it's a lovely little place. Well, we've just managed to get parked, but only, uh, only just. I don't know if you can see all the canvas behind me there. There's. Uh, we got the last space. We got the uh, one on the end, parked in all the mud. But uh, at least we're parked, so we're here. In fact, the the one on the end with the uh, the red cover for the bikes, we think he might be moving. If he does, we're going to get his spot. <laughs> but but we're here. And what a lovely view here. And uh, I can't hang around here because I'm on the golf course. I don't know if you can see it better from this way. See all the camper vans. But I've just spotted another one. I've spotted another red camper van just there. There. I'm just going to have a walk up and see if there's any more spaces up there. Make it a better one rather than being in all the mud. Well, this is where we eventually stayed last night and that's the view out of our window. What a fantastic view, it's a golf course. And we did, I did have a walk along and I did park next to the red camper van. And this was quite quiet last night. Now, I've just seen something here that uh, we didn't see yesterday. Uh, but I don't know if you can read that. It says no overnight parking. But oh, I don't know. All the other campers down, the, down there are still there. Um, don't think anybody takes any notice of the signs. And that's uh, North Berwick behind me. I can't really see what I'm pointing the camera at because the sun's in my face, but it's a lovely view. And um, for all the self built camper van people out there who haven't yet bought their heaters, and maybe considering the Chinese heaters, wonder whether to take a chance on them because they're much cheaper than the other ones I did I took a chance and I did use the Chinese heaters and tried them a couple of times when I installed it but never really had a um, tried them in the cold but well, we did last night 
and they are fantastic. They're no problems at all. They do exactly what they're supposed to do. And this morning we put it on and within 15 minutes the van was like toast. They are great. I would have no qualms in recommending the, ch the Chinese heaters. They're very good. So we'll crack on, going to have breakfast now, and I'll um, talk to you later. We've come to this place, and that's where we're staying tonight. But it looks fine, and it's cost us five pounds to stay here tonight. So that's quite a good deal. It was going to be 15 at the other place, so we've scored 10 pounds. <laughs> Lovely jubbly. Well, we finally arrived and just on cue it started to rain but never mind what have you think of those what have you think of those horses wow they're some size and they're quite impressive they're really big they stand 30 meters tall And I think the one on the right bites. <laughs> I apologise, my phone is filming things today very dark and I can't get it to stop doing it. There's a hole in the cloud and the sun's came out. They look even better in the sun, but I think by the time I get over there, <laughs> the, the hole will have closed and the sun will be in again. I think there's 1500 bolts when they put them together, and I think they were built on site and it only took them 90 days. I um, I did ring prior to coming today to uh, and asked for permission to fly the drone but unfortunately it was denied and he was nice enough about it um, and promised me that uh, we would get some stunning photos and um, photography um, anyway and apparently when it gets dark they're even more spectacular so we're gonna hang around now and wait for it to get dark and um, we'll see we'll see if he's telling the truth <laughs> <laughs> well it's nearly dark 20 minutes and we'll be able to see the horses well it's nearly dark Ooh. <laughs> Well, it's 12 o'clock now, and the pubs have all came out. We've all been to the Nags Head. No, not really. It's about 8 o'clock. It just feels like we've been here at the 12 o'clock. It seems to take ages to go dark in Scotland. But it was worth it because they are quite spectacular. I don't think the camera does them justice. The man wasn't lying. They were, they are, they're quite spectacular. They are quite spectacular in the dark and they keep changing colours, really nice. And uh, the sun's come out today. It's lovely, not a cloud in the sky. <laughs> it's typical because we're starting to go home today. Um, not going straight home though, we're going to take a day. Don't know where we're going to go. But we've got to be back for Sunday. We've just came down before we head off. 
just to see the horses in the sunshine. The man in the uh, the guide in the Falkirk wheel said you've got to see them in the sunshine. He said they look totally different, and they do look very nice. If you enjoyed this video, send me a comment. Let me know what you thought, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of any new videos well thank you for watching i hope to see you again soon take care